If you plan to use Windows 10 after it ends support this year on October 14th, 2025, creating a bootable USB drive is a necessity because like previous Windows operating systems, the links to download it will be going away if you ever need to reinstall the OS. The process to do this is fairly simple. Doing this before the end of support date will save you both the time and hassle if you ever need a clean install of Windows 10. To begin, you'll need an empty USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage. If you don't have one lying around, they're quite inexpensive. You can pick one up for around five to 10 bucks. Now head on over to the software download site for Microsoft. I'll put a link to this page in the description. You'll see two options for downloading. In the section, create Windows 10 installation media. Click download tool now to get the media creation tool. Now go to the folder you downloaded it to and double click the media creation tool file to run it. You'll now see the Microsoft Terms and Conditions. Click on Accept to move forward. You have two choices. Select Create Installation Media, USB Flash Drive, DVD or ISO file for another PC. Then click on Next. If the backup is for the computer that you're currently using, check the box next to. Use the recommended options for this PC. If the USB is being created for another computer, uncheck the box. Go and select your language and edition from the drop down boxes. For the architecture, select 32 bit or 64 bit. If you're unsure, select both. But otherwise, it's best to leave the box checked next to use the recommended options for this PC. After making your selections, click on Next. It will now ask you to choose your media. Your choices are USB flash drive or ISO file. Select USB flash drive. If you don't have a flash drive at this moment with the required storage of at least 8GB, choosing ISO file lets you save it to your computer so you can burn it to a DVD or USB later on. Before moving forward, if you haven't done so already, plug in your USB drive and select Next. In the list, select your USB drive. If for some reason you don't see it, unplug it and plug it back in. You also may need to click Refresh Drive List. Once your drive is selected, click on Next. There's not much more here for you to do. The tool will download and install the files to your USB drive. Depending on your internet speeds, this could take several minutes or longer. When it's done, you'll get the message, your USB flash drive is ready. Click on Finish. Now unplug the USB drive from your computer and store it in a safe place. In the future, if you ever have the need for a clean install of Windows, plug in this drive to your computer and boot it up. When your PC starts, it should boot to the drive you created. If it doesn't boot to your USB drive, go into your BIOS firmware and change the boot drive to your USB drive. If you don't know how to enter the BIOS, check with the manufacturer for your computer for instructions. The method to do this can vary quite a bit between each manufacturer. Thanks for watching. You can find the link mentioned in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. For those that are new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest Windows tips and tricks, along with other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.